Kuro, uh, what are your impressions on the game so far? I love it. Uh, I'm not saying that just because I'm the shoutcaster for the game. It, it's a sweet game. It's it truly is. Like if you shoutcast it, it's, it's it seems kind of slow at the time. Yeah, every once in a while, um, feels a little slow if you're just having a dreadnoughts fight. No, not at all. If you play, it's an incredibly fast-paced game. There's so many things you need to do. I mean, it's just nuts. Like, the entry level is all right. I think it might not be for, like, beginner players, but um, people that have played um, shooters before, people that have played team-based games before, they're going to be A-OK. -okay. Um, but, like, the... The, the learning curve is just insane. I mean, there's so much you can do later on and so many things you need to worry about. There's the energy management. You need to put your energy to your weapons, to your shields, um, go over to the thrusters. That's stuff you need to worry about all the time, right? And then you have the abilities uh, that you need to manage. So uh, each each class, each ship has four abilities. And right now you can see them on the left side here. We have the uh, Dreadnought currently equipped. Let's see what everyone else is picking. Triple Dreadnought, Tactical Cruiser, Artillery Cruiser. That sounds fine. I might actually start out with a Corvette though, just to get a little bit of a better mix in. And on the left side, you can see our officer, uh, the ship we picked, the weapon system. We have the dual heavy auto cannons, the bolt guns. So uh, our primary weapons, the bolt guns are not really all that useful, uh, but if you do have to reload, uh, you, you better switch over, I'm telling you. And for abilities, the Blink Warp, gives you like really really nice speed gets you away from the enemy or closer to the enemy if you do want to engage then they have a torpedo that's your, oh, your primary damage deal I gotta say um, you do need to get quite close to uh, actually make it lock on and um, we have um, our anti-missile lasers the light anti-missile lasers those are basically yeah defensive capabilities so let's see oh don't want to collide with our dreadnoughts apparently we're all taking the turn to the left side so let's switch over and oh god what the heck am i doing okay that's not good it's not a good start i might actually have to turn the sound down a little bit it's quite loud for me this uh it's gonna be crazy okay yeah turn it down a little okay so energy two thrusters you want to get there really really fast and then you want to use those abilities you want to use that blink jump a blink jump, a big warp has a cooldown of about 5 seconds, so it's incredibly fast. Incredibly fast paced fighter here with the Corvette, but it doesn't it doesn't really take all that much damage. Like you can you can take a few shots, but you really want to do hit and run. Let's see if we can actually manage to do that. Going over to that artillery cruiser, switching over to weapons, trying to get in range for um, torpedoes. Okay, there it goes. Fire the torpedoes. And now, time to get out. Oh, jeez. Uh, he almost hit that. Uh, let's do a nimble my maneuver. And, oh, jeez. I'm completely stuck. What the heck? What the heck? I think they got me. I think they got me. Yep. Okay. The reason why you saw me colliding there was I did the Immelman and it's making like a slight turn. Oh, jeez. Uh, forgot to turn off the text. Sorry. Um, sorry. Sorry about that. I did the Immelman maneuver. And it's, it's doing like a slide roll, but not all that much. Okay, I just saw a sniper over there. Let's try to get close to him. Let's try to take him out. There's another one over here somewhere. Um, oh, we do have a tactical cruiser, but it's, it's going to be tough for him to actually heal me up. Okay, let's try to get close to that dreadnought. Oh, actually, they have a tactical cruiser. Oh, not that's not tactical. It's not a tactic, it's another Corvette. Let's get close. I'm almost out of energy. So this is not going to be all that useful. Let's see if the torpedoes help. Um. Oh, they already got him. Sweet. Perfect. Okay, let's try to get close to the enemy once again. They're over in the middle. Trying to try to come down from the bottom here. So what you want to do as the Corvette is always, well, pretty much any ship, use the terrain to your advantage. Coming from the bottom, like use the asteroids, um, use this little space station over here to uh, just surprise your opponent. Okay, oh, he's he's cloaked actually, I've never seen that in action. Okay, switch over to the weapon system, torpedoes engaged, and that should be it. Yep, got that kill. All right, let's get out of here. Let's try to find our next opponent, let's hunt, let's go on the hunt here. I'm gonna reload, so we're ready for our next attack. Oh, I didn't even realize there were ships parked over here. Nice attention to detail, Jaeger. 
You guys are really doing an amazing job. Oh, why? Wait a sec. We got two snipers just sitting here. Okay, I don't have my torpedo ready just yet, but I should be fine like this. Yep, that's good enough. I'm gonna switch over to the shield for a sec. And time to get out. Blink warp. Here we go. Here we go. Reload, and we're good to go for the next round. Next flank is coming in. A little bit slow. Let's use some of our energy to get closer. Oh, geez, that's a destroyer. I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. Let's see if we can surprise him from the back. I'm gonna turn off my energy for a sec here. But always use the blink warp. Please, pretty please, always use the blink warp. Okay, where the heck is he? He was just here. Oh, there he is. Okay, blink warp. And there we go. Torpedo's ready. Let's go for him. Yep, that's another kill confirmed. I'm on a rampage now. 50 additional points. Not bad. I'm not doing that well. Just over exaggerating here. This is not not a good Corvette pilot right here. But of course, I mean, it's been five days of Gamescom, so I'm pretty drained right here. Um, you can hear my voice is almost gone. I'm just trying to do the best I can to still give you an amazing cast. All right, let's close in on him. Oh, damn it, my torpedo is quite ready. 13 seconds to go. But uh, it's gonna be enough for a tactical cruiser. He's not really made for this. That's another kill confirmed. And we're up 73 to 33 with five minutes to go. I think we're in a good spot. Let's try to hunt that. Oh, wait, actually. Let's go for that other. Oh, they already got the Corvette. Oh, doing the job for me. Let's go for the final push, Commander. So, all right, Zimi class. Nuke, we haven't seen nukes yet, have we? It's kind of weird, we have two dreadnoughts, they haven't used nukes, that's weird. Okay, let's help him out over here. I think he needs some help. Oh, this one is almost gone, let's try to get him. Yeah, got him. Actually, our artillery cruiser did, but it doesn't matter. Our team is winning 86 to 33, not bad at all. Okay, let's try to find them again. They're probably spawned on the other side. Like if you, um, if you respawn, you usually spawn somewhere where the opponent isn't at. So spawn camping isn't that easy. I think it works out quite well, to be honest. I feel like there's uh, about four spawn points on this map. I'm not entirely sure though. Let's see if we can get a kill in. Yeah, I think we're gonna be good. Oh damn it! I shot my torpedoes too fast, but I'm still gonna hit. Sweet, and that's the final kill. We've got a rank war child. Not bad. Really good job, guys. Nice job on our first round for tonight. So, uh, what are you guys' impression for the game? I, I really love it. I told you, um, not just because I cast it, but because it's an amazing game. Next round, we're gonna play something different. Let's see how we did on the individual scores here. All right. By the way, don't be intimidated by those officers. Um, they're fully customizable in the game later on. Oh, five kills, one death, uh, no assists. I didn't really count that last one. So, yeah, middle of the field. I think I think that wasn't too bad for a first round. So which ship do you guys want me to play next? Um, I'm thinking Destroyer just because I suck at it. Um, and maybe you guys, I mean, you guys are really, you're really involved with this game, so I think you might have some ideas how to play the Destroyer, even though you've never played the game before. Or maybe you have. Maybe you've been to PAX um, or some of the other conventions we went to. Do give me some tips, because I have no idea how to play the Destroyer correctly. Okay, I'm going to hit play. We probably don't have an opponent just yet. We might. We might, though. Um, I've seen the guys from Jaeger in the back. Um, they're probably playing. Maybe some of the guys from Grey, Greybox are playing as well. Yeah, um, I might need some water here soon, so if you guys in front could bring me some water, that'd be great. Um, have they told me something about using the gamepad joystick in Dreadnought? Um, no, they haven't, but I've seen a dev stream before where they said that um, they're thinking about it just because the game is just... it's made for gamepad support. And to be honest, uh, there's a lot of people playing with um, the uh, Xbox controller on Windows because it's like Steam supports it. All, like all the, uh, pretty much every new game that's released comes with controller support. 
So I guess they will release it with controller support. Um, maybe that. Maybe I'll ask them later on, or you guys can ask them uh, at the five o'clock session. But I'm pretty sure they will release it with controller support. All right, still searching for the match. Um, if you think, if you're asking yourself why we always have to look for matches here and why we're not getting right into the next match, they're actually bringing us new opponents from the front. We're in the back of our Dragonlord booth here, and they always have to get new people from the front. Um, people like you, uh, people that come to Gamescom to uh, to check out the game. Um, some of these people have actually like been in queue like six to twenty times over the last five days. It's insane. You guys love this game, and I can't blame you. Um, all right, that's uh, yeah. They will. I'm pretty sure they will add it after release. All right, so yeah, game game co uh, gamepad controller and controller support. Uh, that was the first question here. Uh, anything else you guys want to ask? Anything else I can help you out with? Did you guys check out the other streams that we had going on? I think there were a couple of English streams yesterday. Um, yeah. So let's talk about the classes a little bit. Um, we we already saw the Corvette. It's it's a scout scout based class. Um, good for recon, but also good, extremely good for hit and run. To be honest, I feel like it's it's a little bit overpowered right now. But don't tell that to the Jaeger guys. No, uh, I mean, of course we have like a specific build here at Gamescom. So uh, these are pre-picked abilities, and um, they just they just threw them out there to let you guys have the most fun. And uh, in the end, like in the final game, there's going to be so much variety in there. Um, it's going to be tough for, to, to balance, but I'm I'm so convinced that these guys can do it. How hard is the tactical cruiser to play? Um, it's, I'd say, medium level, because you do need to watch out for your friends. You do need to watch out. Like, there's currently there's no way to actually check the the health health of your team members, so you gotta watch in that direction. And actually, I'm gonna give that as feedback later on, because I feel like in a team based shooter, uh, your team based uh, team based game, you need to see the health of your of your friends right away without actually looking at them. But that also makes yeah, it actually constitutes part of the challenge, you know. Uh, you need to check out where uh, where your friends are and how much health they have, and then you use your your teleport ability, the, te uh, the teleport jump, to get to get close to your friends, heal them up. Uh, use your repair drones to heal all of your friends in the area. And so I actually realized he's a lot of fun to play. If you feel, if you have a competent team and you work together, the tactical cruiser is amazing. It, it's so much fun to play. And even um, even aggressive usage is possible. Um, is the stream going to be available later? Um, of course you can watch it later on, Huruk. Um, there's going to be a highlight, and you can actually just watch past broadcast from my station. Um, my Twitch channel has past, past broadcast enabled. I might actually just um, also upload it to YouTube later on. You can find my YouTube link below um, in the channel description. Okay, so what did we talk about? Oh yeah, we want to play the destroyer. Let's check out the destroyer here. It's the Marina class heavy destroyer. Um, comes equipped with a ballistic cannons as its primary weapon, flag turrets as a secondary weapon. Lots of lots of these ships that we have here for Gamescom have the flag turrets as a as a secondary weapon, and it's insane. Like the damage it does, not bad at all at close range, but you do need to get really really close. And I feel that that's also um, yeah, it's, it's, that's also true for the destroyer in general. You need to get really close. But then you launch your heavy nuclear torpedo, you launch the scramble torpedo, and you, you're good to go. By the way, scramble torpedo. If, it's, if you haven't seen it, if it detonates close to you, basically your entire screen uh, becomes all blurry, and uh, yeah, the HUD vanishes. It's a mess to control. And it's just so amazing to, to play with that. All right, all right, guys. Let, let's see if we can do it. I'm gonna try to get in that valley down below. And you know what? Usually I try to come in from the sides. Let's not do that this time. Let's actually try to come in from the middle. Oh, I already see one. I already see one up here. And let's go for the nuke. Let's go for the nuke. And this is so hard to do right here. Like following him. 
Uh, they have a lot of corvettes right here. They have a lot of corvettes. There's another one over here. Let's switch over to our flag turrets. See if we can get them. I think we did, but that nuke did some damage over here. All right, let's move it. Oh, they're coming from the back. That's so many corvettes right there. Uh, I don't think I'm in range. Nope, I'm not. I'm not in range. Uh, let's see if we can jump over there. I'm gonna reload. Use that jump to get closer. Ah, it's working. It's working all right. And we'll reload it. He's making another turn. Switch over to our weapons and use the scramble torpedo. Uh, he's really close. I should be able to get him. Oh, damn it. It's too many of them. Too many of them. And the other one got away. Yeah, that's, that's the destroy for you. I just can't figure it out. Supposedly it's really good, but I don't know. I don't know how it works. It does have the anti nuke lasers as its defensive measure, and I really like that system. It's really cool, especially if you're playing on Kappa Base where um, nukes are extremely dangerous. Okay, let's try to hit him again. That's so hard to aim with this thing. Okay, let's see if I hit it now. He was in range. Sweet. Okay, we got him. We got him. Okay, now that's impossible. Let's try to get him. Oh, he's over here. Uh, they're probably gonna get me soon, yeah. I don't think I can get away this time. Yep, they got me. Okay, no more destroy for me. Let's 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 go for okay, what what do we actually have? Okay, two dreadnoughts. Let's, let me play the tactical cruiser. Let's see if I can heal up our dreadnoughts. Let's get close to him, help him out. He's actually not damaged yet, but I'm still gonna get close. Just to see what I can do. Oh, actually, actually go over here. Do I go for warp missiles? Oh, wow. That was quick. He just launched a torpedo at me. Okay. N not, not the best thing. Yeah, Destroyer is extremely hard to play. I already asked the Jaeger guys, they said, oh, he, it's amazing. Like, the Nuke Torpedo. Well, I mean, the Nuke Torpedo is nice, but other than that, I just can't deal with that ship. I have no idea why. We're not doing well. 26 to 73, and it's only, uh, only three and a half minutes in. Oh, wow. We're not doing well at all. Let's try to get close to our ships. Um, that might actually be gone right now. Enemy is winning. Oh no, shit! All right, uh, let's try to find an entrance over here. Nope. Just gonna stay close to our ships over here. Oh no, actually we have a dreadnought. Uh, let me try to heal him up. Let me try to heal him up. Where are you? Where are you, dude? That's one. That's one. There's the other. Okay, going to heal immediately. Going for the repair drones. Gonna use the beam amplifier actually to heal up or to increase the rate of repair. And I'm just circling him. Just circling, circling, circling. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Wow. That is so quick. Like if they really, if they want you, they just focus you to death. These Corvettes are insane to deal with. Um, I could have done a better job hiding between, like in between these ships. But heck, uh, that, that was not good at all. Not good at all. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Corvette here. See if we can get it. No, that's it. That's game. That's game right there. Um, the heavy destroyer seems hard to play. Um, yeah, the subclasses. To be honest, uh, here at Gamescom, we have predefined classes uh, with predefined subclasses. So I have no idea how the other ones play. Um, no idea. No idea at all. I know that the basic roles are defined through the classes. And then the subclasses do play a role in like armor, uh, like the amount of armor and uh, weapon capabilities you have. And then you can also equip different abilities as well. Uh, but I have no idea how they play. I haven't, I haven't played it. I haven't played a different build than this one. Um, yeah, uh, Vespas, um, Vespasian. I do agree that right now in this build, uh, the Corvette damage is a little bit OP, but 
then again, if, if you pick the right composition, like if you go for double dreadnought, double corvette, and a tactical, and just stay close, stick stick together, do go for the death ball. <laughs> go for the death ball. If you know StarCraft 2, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, that's that's just an incredibly strong combination to counter those corvette players, because you can't get close to the tactical, and with the tactical cruiser in the middle of all of your ships, he can just heal them up all day long. It's gonna be a longer match, I'm telling you that, because the dreadnoughts they don't go down if you have a tactical cruiser to support them. If, good, if you have a good tactical cruiser player, uh, to be honest, I might actually try to play tactical cruiser once again. But um, first, let's go for a different ship. Let's go for a dreadnought or the artillery cruiser, the sniper in the game. Um, Corvette struggle versus destroyers and dreadnoughts. Um, well, they don't struggle against destroyers when I play them. That's for sure. In reality, like if I, when I watch the Jaeger guys play, they play the destroyer a lot better than I do. So I guess they are actually a threat to the Corvette. Not when I play though. Um, the dreadnought, I'd say, is definitely a threat to the Corvette. If it gets too close, you just throw a couple flags in its face and it's gonna evaporate in no time and well well with a regular like a plasma uh, the plasma balls you can shoot at the, as a primary fire with a dreadnought you can even get them at long range so yeah uh, dreadnought is definitely definitely tough for corvettes um, yeah that's right um, with a uh, with a corvette and energy on your weapons and the torpedo ready you can almost destroy you can almost destroy a destroyer well kill the destroyer in well the torpedo goes in then it's about at half health and if you have your weapon systems completely loaded up you need about 18 shots and you have 20 shots in your magazine right, <laughs> thanks I'll scan the feeds and find your job. medium combat is good with stealth um, Oh, okay, so I guess Devastrator has played the game and has played a different build than we have because there right now We don't have a Corvette that has stealth, but it sounds like a fun combination to be honest um, medium Corvette, so maybe a little bit less damage but Having the cloak available gets you close to the enemy. You don't really have to rely on that speed all that much anymore Sounds like a nice way to do sneak attacks. I like it. I, I want to try it. All right, Kappa Base, once again, here at Gamescom, uh, we have two maps with us. It's Kappa Base and Rings of Saturn. The first map we played was on Rings of Saturn, I, I believe. Um, they play quite differently. Uh, you saw that Kappa Base, it's, it's a lot easier to play with nukes. On Rings of Saturn, it's not that easy. You actually need to manually, uh, yeah, you need to manually trigger them. Without the manual trigger, they often just pass, like, right, right next to the ships, because I mean, it, the way the nuke works, at least the nuke for the Dreadnought is, you launch it, like you, you select your target, it's, it's incredibly long range. Um, let me actually go pick a ship right here, let's go for the artillery cruiser, we have two, two destroyers, oh, this is not going to go well for us, but hey, doesn't matter, doesn't matter at all, we're just here to have fun. Um, where was I going at? <sighs> Completely lost my train of thought. Um, oh yeah, nukes. <laughs> Yeah, so the way the Dreadnought nuke works is you launch it at extremely long range, you pick a target, um, it doesn't lock on, so basically if your target moves, it's still gonna go where the target was the, the moment you shot it, the moment you fired it. So if, if you have a Dreadnought and it's, it's a stationary, it's a pretty safe bet you're, you're gonna hit your target. Uh, let's actually dive down here, get to the sides of the battlefield. Um, but if you have, if you shoot at lighter targets that move a lot faster, then oh jeez, oh jeez, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh damn it! Yeah, maybe I get him with the missiles. Okay, that was bad, bad surprise. Um, sorry about that. But usually with the smaller ships, the nuke just flies by, whizzes right past, and then you can manually trigger it if it's close to the enemy. Just manually trigger it. And it blows up and blows them to pieces. It's also quite uh, quite sweet if they like stick close together, especially on Kappa. Um, oh, let's let's help them out. Well, geez, no, not good. Um, 
Oh, that was not bad at all. Not a bad shot. Let's see if we can get him. As well. Oh, he actually clipped right there. It's not that easy. That was a hit. That was a hit. Oh, no. Nope. Blink jump. Okay, uh, let's cloak myself so it's... Oh, wait, I need to stand still. Yeah, it's... Um, okay, let's go for the missiles now. Switch over to weapons. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, he's hard to hit. And he actually uses his anti-missile system. Oh wow, that's that's really tough. Let's see if my my Corvette is actually helping me out. Oh, he's standing still. Nope, he's he's doing the barrel roll. Slippy, do the barrel roll. Oh, 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 that was a nuke. Let's get out of here. Speed might be the way to go. I need some Corvettes, guys. Help me out. They have that triple Corvette strategy once again. This is not going to go well for us. Got to go for the anti-missile pulse. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's so much firepower right there. Two Corvettes. How the heck? Okay. Um, yep, there are three subclasses. <laughs> Nukes in 27 AD sounds legit. Um, okay, um, what are the classes we have on our team right now? Uh, that's not a good combination. I'm gonna play Dreadnought now. So let's switch over, go over to the Smay class Dreadnought. See if we can help out our guys. Nuke that way. Nuke that way. Okay, I'm gonna go get a little bit closer to our tactical cruiser to help him out. Because he can deal with that shit. Yep, that was a hit. And this guy. Oh, nope. Uh, problem is I should have definitely needed that tactical cruiser. Um, hard to hit. It's definitely hard to hit. We do have a second dreadnought available now. And there's our Corvette coming in. Uh, reload time is quite long. Switch over to weapons again. Uh, that was blink shot can make it incredibly... Oh, we're actually too close to that wall. Switch over to flag. Oh, damn it! And he gets out of range. Switch back. Yep. You see, it's it's not easy. It's not easy, especially with those blink warps. Okay, now he's too close. That should be it. Yep. Finally, finally got him. Still, we're way behind. 46 to 86. That's two more hits for them, and we're gone. Oh, and being hit here. Uh, let's get out of range. Okay, side back here. Oh, he's actually following us. That's not good. We're gonna need help here. Oh, Corvette is helping out. Sweet. Uh, another Corvette is coming in. I hate those guys. I hate those guys. Okay, damp damage amplifier might help us. Okay. Gonna go for the nuke. I'm just gonna try it. He actually used the scrambler to beat. I'm just gonna hit him as hard as I can. Everything I have. There's the defeat. We didn't get that kill, but I think I saw that he is almost out of energy. Too bad. I'm not a shabby player, I'm telling you. It, it, okay, I, I guess I am. I guess I am. Too much casting these couple days. We played a lot of matches in the first two days, but now... Too much casting. Alright. How do you determine how deep the nuke will explode, though? Like, after how many meters pointing in a certain direction? Um, what you want to do, uh, Vespasian, is you look <laughs> where the nuke goes. Yeah. Um, you just check. You just check. So once you fire, it takes about 30 to 40 seconds to reach your target. Actually, yeah, that might be too long. Maybe it's 20 seconds. No idea. It takes a little bit of time to reach your target. And like once it's close, you can see it. I mean, it's got a huge... Uh, it's glowing red. It's got a huge trail. By the way, we're second place. Hey, at least something. Constellation Prize. Um, it takes takes quite a bit of time to, re to reach the target and you can see it it's, it's it's glowing red it's got a little bit of trail of light behind it and then like you see the ships around it right so you know, see your opponent uh, you just you just hit that nuke button once again and it explodes Let's see what kind of and it's on. it's pretty insane all right um, hey guys up front at the stage can you bring me a water please pretty please that'd be great 
Yeah, um, <laughs> if you're enjoying the cast, please sure, please make sure to leave a follow. And I'm also going to upload all of the matches later to YouTube. That's probably going to happen tomorrow, though. I'm going back to Leipzig tonight, so I'm not going to get there until like 1 a.m. Uh, it's been a hell of a week. Amazing time here at the Dreadnought booth with the guys from Greybox, with our promoters, uh, the guys from Jaeger. It's, it's, it was just a blast. Uh, if you have the chance to, to uh, visit them at one of the conventions, please go, please go, they're amazing. Uh, go say hi to Brandon, go, go say hi to Kyle, the community manager for the game. Um, really great bunch of dudes. And gals, Kyla, Kyla's there as well. All right, so let's see if we get a couple more players in here. I might need some support. Peter, if you're out there, I need you. I need you. Need some tips. Need some tips. Okay, so what's the class we haven't played yet? I... Yeah, <laughs> I screwed up with the Destroyer. We got blown apart in the Tactical. We had like one try as the Artillery Cruiser. Uh, and then Dreadnought, we did okay-ish. So which, which class do you want to see next? We have a little bit of downtime right now. Um, until the next match starts since well totally out of people back here so if you guys want to send someone back here I'd appreciate it so we can get the next match on the road time for your questions shoot shoot those questions at me Ooh. voice yeah voice it's gone um, if you're up in front we have another sweet thing coming and also for you guys online uh, over on Twitch there's going to be a dev stream, there's going to be a dev show match. I think it's the guys from Jaeger and also Greybox that's going to fight each other and the audience later on. It starts at 5 here Central European time. When Cologne, we're at Gamescom 2015. If you've been here, how have you been, guys been enjoying the show so far? I, I mean, I've stayed here most of the time, but when I went out, it was just nuts out there. Um, maybe not as much as last year, but it, it's been a great crowd. Great, great crowd. Okay, Huruk would like to see me struggle with the destroyer. Thanks, Huruk. How considerate of you. I, I, I happily oblige. It's just not going to be pretty. But maybe you guys can give me some hints. I mean, if if you you've probably seen more matches than I have, um, so if you have some hints, do shoot them at me. I mean, not all knowing, we we've cast a lot of matches, but to be honest, destroyer was not the most picked class. It it was definitely definitely Corvette. I think people catch on pretty, pretty quickly that it's it's easy to pick up and play and that hit and run style is just a lot of fun. Alright, um, how will you get, will, how will you be able to get into beta? Um, or when? Or when? I can tell you when. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Um, Early 2016. Okay, if that's if that's what's online, then um, I guess that's it. I guess uh, that's that's the official confirmation then. But uh, just just check out playdreadnought.com. You can sign up for the beta over there. There's also more information. There's uh, the Facebook page, the Twitter page, uh, YouTube, and Twitch, of course. So you can follow all of those social sites. Um, all the information for the game is available on playdreadnought.com. So go check it out. Uh, there's a lot of dev streams. There's dev Q and A's where information has been given out. And of course the game is constantly evolving. I mean, these guys are working day and night to get this thing on the road, uh, get this thing finished out to you guys, and then it doesn't stop there. I mean, they, they have big plans for this game. Um, and even right now, it just feels feels amazing. It, it really is. Okay, so next question here. I heard you get promo codes. Not that I know of. Not that I know of. Oh, 2016, I'm waiting so long. Oh, we all have. We all have. Uh, Game is Pirate. Alright, so I'm um, still waiting for people back here. Maybe uh, maybe we don't have as much of a crowd up front. Uh, let me check if I can get more people in. Um, I'll be right back for you guys.
classes are there? Um, well, classes are five. I think that's fixed for now. They might more add more later on. I don't know. Um, classes are five, but there are there are multiple ships available. I think it's um, yeah, it's set to three uh, ships per class. So overall, fifteen ships. It's always light, medium, and heavy. So you have like light destroyer, medium destroyer, heavy destroyer. Uh, for, same for Corvette and the other classes. Okay, we're searching for a match. They're probably gonna send more people over here soon. Uh, what's the time? All right. 3.45 See um, how much longer we go here. Hopefully we'll get more players in Shippinators, all right So you guys know each other. That's good. I love a tight-knit community. It's great And you guys seem to know a whole lot more about this game than I do Well, well at least I know a lot about this build All right, we got more people here sweet so, we can get started again. <clears throat> Too many mics. Too many mics in front of me. I use this one for the guys up front. Hey guys. And then this one for you. I want to it. Uh, it's a bit early for a live stream. Ah, yeah. You guys over in the States. Uh, yeah, I guess it is. Like, It's like... Uh, 10-ish uh, New York time, isn't it? Yeah, well, grab your morning coffee, grab your cereals, just sit down, uh, watch you play the game, ask your questions, and later on you get the devs, so you're gonna get some real skill, not the cast skill. Let's see some battle. Uh, I do want to see some battle. I think they all click play, so we should be getting the show on the road here pretty soon. By the way, if you do get a chance to play, check it out. If you click in the middle here in this uh, menu screen, you can go and check out the Dreadnought in, in its entire detail, and it looks incredible. <laughs> Look at that detail. All of these weapons actually move with you. Like, if you move through Crosshair, uh, it moves around with it. Devastrator. Yeah, Devastrator actually joined me uh, two days or three days ago when I did the first stream. Oh, wow. Can you hear that volume? Can you hear that bass pumping? We got, we got some guys in the back and they, they're just going nuts with giveaways. All right, finally time to get the next match in. It's Kappa Base. And, oh, you, you I think Huruk wanted to see me lose in the uh, Destroyer. I hate you, Huruk. But yeah, I'm gonna do it, gonna do it. Gonna play that destroyer once again. Marina class. By the way, my name is Adams, according to this. Now we have uh, pre designated names for the guys back here. I'm Fletchling Adams. Um, already talked a little bit about weapon systems. Uh, ballistic cannons as primary, flag turrets as secondary. Then the four abilities that we have here at Gamescom are, uh, for the destroyer at least, heavy nuclear torpedo. Just incredible, incredible firepower. Expand the torpedo to screw with the enemy. Anti-nuke lasers, really, really cool if you have a lot of opposing dreadnoughts. Ah, messes them up. And then the warp drive, uh, to get a little bit closer to the action. Okay, last time we tried to get too close, I think, and we didn't have a, um, uh, we didn't have a, a support class, so no tactical cruiser. Um, I think I saw two tacticals action this time. Stations. Yep. So I'm just gonna stay close to our tacticals. See if they help me out. Okay, I already spotted the dreadnought. See if we can do something about him. Ah, he's turning around, he's turning around. Trying to get my shots out. They're trying to fire at us. He's not hitting yet. Okay, gonna reload and just duck down. Okay, it's working out quite fine so far. He's healing with other tactical. I don't know if that's the best idea, but oh damn it. There they are again. I hate you guys. I hate you combat players. Uh, did I switch over to weapons? Not yet. Now I do. Okay, he's stuck. So let's go for him. Okay, he ducked down. Problem is they recover quite fast. They have that Mr. Fix-It officer. And um, to us, I don't know too much about the officers because they're fixed right now and I can check their stats. Oh, Dreadnought is coming. Let's get close to him. Let's try to do the best we can. Switch over to weapon system. Hit him with everything we've got. Flag turrets, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's take him out, let's take him out. 
And flag turrets, come on, come on, come on. Come on, we should get him, we should get him. That's the kill confirmed. All right, we're actually leading this time. 20 to six. Okay, over here, there should be another destroyer. Let me get close to him. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, damn it, he saw me first. It's actually a dreadnought. Sorry about that. Let's get a little bit closer. Get a little bit closer to the action and go for the scramble torpedo. And switch over to weapon system real quick. Oh, wait, that's actually a destroyer. I was right the first time. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's another, another Corvette over here. Okay, we're coming in from the back. This should work out quite well. I ran out of energy, though. So let's get rid of him. Next kill. Oh, nice. We took out that Corvette. Really great nuke. Oh, jeez, I'm being hit. I'm being hit from the back. Oh, maybe I turned the volume down too low. Uh, being hit from all sides. That's a big issue as the destroyer. If you have Corvettes all around you, there's no way to deal with it. It's like flies like all around your head. There's no way you can actually handle it. Um, it's a free-to-play title. It's a free-to-play title. Uh, the exact monetization scheme has been announced, but I can tell you, I can tell you it's gonna be, it's not gonna be paid to win or anything like that. It's gonna be amazing. These guys want you to, they want to involve the community so much with this. All right, let's get back into the fight. Uh, next question, aggressive super damage class, very slow and hard to learn. Um, true, that's true. Okay, let's try to get closer to that dreadnought. Oh jeez, I need speed, I need speed. Full energy to our thrusters, officers. Okay, let's get close and switch over to weapons. There we go, nuke and scramble torpedo. Let's go nuts. Actually, let's go for this guy first, because he's standing still. Okay, did we get him? Yeah, we got them both. Oh, damn it, it does do friendly fire. Are you kidding me? We talked about that earlier and we weren't sure if it does friendly fire, but apparently it does. Epic fail. Epic fail right there. <laughs> I'll get my people on the stream, be right back. <laughs> Sweet. Thanks. Thanks, Game of Pyro. <laughs> Alright. Let's get closer to the action. Another nuke. Okay, I gotta watch out. Gotta use the anti-nuke lasers. What are we going up against, by the way? I hate the opposing team. Again. Oh wait, they actually only have one Corvette. Okay, I guess that's fine. I guess that's fair. Let's get closer to the action. We still have two tacticals. I don't know why they haven't healed me so far. Okay, there's a unit over there. I don't know where exactly. Oh, there he is. I'm just gonna try to uh, try to do as much damage as I can. And time to reload, I guess. Get a little bit closer, get a little bit closer, get a little bit closer. Okay, there we go. And let's get back. Yep. That should be a kill soon. Yep. Only assist. Come on, I fired the nuke. I fired the nuke. Shouldn't I get the kill? No, it's all fine. It's all fine and dandy. Oh, okay. Let's see how it goes. Let's go into weapons. And that should be an easy kill right there. Yeah, nice. These, like the, the slower ships are easy to handle. I'm struggling against the Corvettes, but slow ships are just fine. Are ships worth different amounts of points? Uh, for this build, no. They're all six, uh, all six points. Um, later on, that might be. But I mean, that's something they're gonna fix uh, all the time, pretty much. I think. Um, so. Not even, not even worth to ask right now. Okay, let's let's see if we can get close to this guy. Oh sweet, I'm getting healed. I'm being healed. I'm getting healed. Uh, why am I not using my warp drive, by the way? Now it's too late. But hey, I should use that warp drive. Oh, this is so hard. Why is it so hard? I'm not hitting him at all, and I need some shields right there. You can't do jack shit if they're below you. Okay, let's go for the nuke. I'm gonna, gonna get killed you anyways. Come on, explode nuke, explode! 
Oh, you can't trigger it if you're dead. I guess that makes sense. Yep, um, it's six points for this build. Actually, 6.6 .6 to be uh, totally honest with you. But um, I know that Rocket Beans, it's a big German stream. They have the other build with five points. We have six here. No, it, I, I'm not a deaf. I can say this is not gonna be. It's not gonna be free to play like World of Tanks. We don't have viable bullets. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Not at all like that. Let's go for. Oh no! Oh no! No! Not good. Let's go for that tactical. Yep, there's a kill. Luke going down. Where's everyone at? I saw... I saw something on... Oh, there he is. There he is right there. Switch over to weapons. There we go. Sorry to get him. Oh, that, that's game. And we won! Not bad. Not bad. I'm still fighting. I can still control it. Now it's gone. Now it's gone. We're doing okay. Like I, we were doing okay, I guess. Yeah, would you guys help this this work? Oh wow, that was a close match. 100 to 93. I told you 6.6 .6 points, so that was one kill difference. Really good job, guys. Really good game. Really good game. And second place. Hey, eight kills. Not bad at all. Take care. Have fun at Gamescom. Yeah, uh, that was that was too bad. What what's the next class you want to see? What's the next class? What a job you have. Getting paid to play this game at Gamescom? I actually did the shot uh, I did the shot casting up on stage. It, it's fun. It's fun, but it's also stressful. I my voice is gone. If you I'm I've been shot casting other games for uh, last four years now and sh casting at home is totally different I'm telling you I mean here you gotta you gotta project so much your, your voice gets strained like a uh, first day is almost gone after five days these these things you can just rip them out and it's it's a bloody mess it's a bloody mess I tell ya um, yeah so uh, it's fun but it's also really really tiring so I'm I'm happy to get home. Well, I'll be sad to say goodbye to the guys from my gray box and Jaeger. Okay. You like heavy ships? Okay, heavy ships. Heavy ships it is. Let's go for the heaviest one. Let's go for the dreadnought. Uh, this dreadnought is actually. Let me see. Oh, we saw on here. But we have we have like these really cool uh, glass uh, glass displays of like the stats of the ships. They're outside our booth and. I checked them for the dreadnought. Like I think it's more than four, no, 300 meters and like 500 tons. So this is a massive beast. If you know physics, it's gonna be built in space, and that's what you see in the background right there. I think this is actually uh, the station that you see in Rings of Saturn. Um, maybe the devs, devs can confirm this. It looks like the station on Rings of Saturn, and like they're building the dreadnought in there. So it's like a shipyard. <laughs> I am really excited with the last energy I have putting it into this. All right, four o'clock, four o'clock. We still have an hour to go until the dev stream is on. So still a lot of matches. Hopefully they get some more guys over here. I'm gonna just quickly talk to them to send more people over here. Okay, they're getting more people over here, so we're gonna get started with the next match. Of course, Gamescom is kind of slowly winding down. Uh, we're in the home stretch. Two more hours. Two more hours. So uh, if you're still up front, I think we got more stuff to give away. We got a lot of uh, Logitech keyboards. Uh, I think one more headset. Uh, 
yeah, lots of stuff to give away. Also, lots of T-shirts. Yeah. Um, so grab that swag. Um, I might actually throw some uh, some stuff out there before we go into our final cast for the night. Um, yeah, once that dev stream starts, I'm gonna be back up on stage. I'm gonna cast that uh, Jaeger show match, the Jaeger show matches, Jaeger versus Community show matches. But it's gonna be in German. Uh, doesn't really matter. I mean, most of the people here are German. Well, no, that's not really true. You guys come from all over the world to see Dreadnought. And yeah, I can't blame you. We got more people over here. All right, let's get the show on the road. Beta keys, I don't want hardware. Just go sign up on playdreadnought.com. You're gonna get in. Okay, beta keys. All the stations are sponsored, or did you buy them? I'm not sure what you mean. You mean like the booth stations? I have no idea. No idea. I think, I think we have Logitech as a sponsor, but they only, they only have these sweet mice and keyboards. Don't get dizzy. Don't get dizzy, guys. Um, so I don't know about the computers. Oh wow, we just had a huge feedback loop. It wasn't us though. Our tech guys are so great. They fix all of this up. Like we have an amazing setup up in front. You can't see it, um, but like we ha we can switch between all of these computers because we don't really have the observer work ready just yet. But we can switch so we can live cast this, and it's just nuts. I mean, I talked to the tech guys, and they said it's like the first time it's been done for uh, for a Gamescom booth. Okay. We're getting ready. Uh, everyone's clicked search match, I hope. Maybe not on the other side. We'll have to see. And I know that some of these people have played before, so maybe we have a great, great match up our sleeves again. Apparently they do friendly damage, yes. <laughs> Apparently they do. Um, when we shoutcast before, I had Karayan with me. Uh, he's a German caster uh, for a uh, caster and player for Heroes of the Storm, and we did this whole gig together. Um, really lots of fun, um, and we we couldn't figure out if it does friendly damage or not. But at least the um, the feedback loop, uh, called feedback loop, um, the new torpedo for the destroyer does. Okay, you guys wanted to see more heavy ships, so we're gonna go for the dreadnought. See what everyone else in our team picks. I'm gonna need another sip of water here. Okay, a Dreadnought, Corvette, Tactical, Auxiliary, Corvette. Uh, okay. I'd like to see another Dreadnought instead of the Artillery Cruiser. But it's fine. We're just here to have fun. I don't know if we're still playing against the guys from G Launch TV on the other side. Um, they know the game in and out by now. They've been here since Thursday and they've been playing the entire day. At least like six hours straight. Okay, so go to strategy. Go to strategy right now. Oh damn it, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Um, for the dreadnought is, you want to go for your nukes straight away. And Yep, that's what happens. You get that, uh, you get that first kill in. Okay, go activate the beam amplifier though. You want to have that beam amplifier ready to do more damage. Um, actually, it doesn't do more damage, but it um, increases the rate of, rate of shots here. And we should get that kill on the dreadnought. Sweet, double kill. Not bad at all. Now let's get out of range because I saw that little combat over here. Okay, let's try to hit him. That's it's tough. It's tough. Need to keep my guys alive. Oh, we have another Corvette to help out. It's good. Actually, um, I hate that tactical cruiser. Okay, let's see if we can get him. Ah, reloading. That was not good stuff to reload. Okay, he should come out up front here. Or does he? Oh, there he is. Okay, another beam amplifier, uh, not beam amplifier, but damage amplifier. Wait, did I just hit one of those uh, non-moving ships? Let's go for the missiles. We're taking him down, 
Oh, we got the kill. We got the kill. Nice. I don't know how, but we got it. Okay, there's another one on this side. We're doing really good so far. Like, killing all the corvettes. That's not easy. Let's go for that tactical cruiser in the back there. And switch over to weapons. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go for a nuke on, on the dreadnought. Next kill. And let me dive down here. Oh, we're almost out of energy. I want to dive down. Okay, done, done, and done. You want to use the terrain to your advantage. Always try to hide behind the vehicle, uh, the, the buildings, of course. Uh, this little research station back here. And try to use the valleys. Valleys to your advantage. Okay, let me stick close to our guys. 46 points to 20. That is not bad at all. 60 seconds on my nuke and 13 on the missiles. Oh, they got another kill here. So let's get back to our guys. Let's try to help them out. One big issue is though, if they use the nuke and we don't have a destroyer to keep us safe from the nuke, it's not good to stay in one spot. So I'm not gonna stay exactly right next to it. Okay, let's go for the missiles and switch over to weapons energy. Nice, we got an assist at least. And got rid of that pesky, pesky Corvette. Side back here, okay. They have more ships in the back. And about 13 seconds on that nuke. Let's climb, let's climb it. Okay, more energy. And I have that increased damage, let's go for it. Let's go for the tactical right there. And we're gonna get him, that's an easy kill. That's an easy kill. Okay, let's go for the double dreadnoughts here. Nuke is launched. And there's one over here. I don't know what he's doing. I'm almost out of energy. So I need to watch out. Hopefully the tacticals will heal us soon. Oh, that nuke didn't hit anything. Too bad. Oh, actually it did. I did, it did, it did. Okay, he's, he's stuck there. He's stuck there. That's our chance. Let's go for it. Go for the kill. Yes. So sweet. Okay, now the dreadnought is the next target. Okay, another damage amplifier. Let's go for it. Go for the damage. Double damage. Yeah, we're rocking this match. 66 points. That's insane right there. Another kill. Okay, um, oh, another dreadnought in the back. I'll get to your questions in a sec. I'll get to your questions in a sec. Oh, Kids Forever is here. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. How you doing? I haven't seen you in a while, but, well, of course, I've not been streaming for a while either. I'm actually getting back into streaming now. Uh, summer break is almost over. Um, I still have lots of stuff to do, so it won't be as much as uh, the end of last year and um, time before that, but uh, I want to stream at minimum one time per week. That's the bare minimum. Hopefully more, hopefully two or three times a week. So if you like this cast, um, if you want to see more Dreadnought, um, I'm going to bring it to you. I'm also also casting Heroes of the Storm and uh, other games, so do check it out and leave a follow. There's also a YouTube channel if you missed part of the, part of the event, and that should be another kill for us. Yeah, yeah it is. Okay, where is that nuke, and why isn't it ready? Why can't I use the nuke right there? It should be ready, right? Let's get in range. Let's get in range. Okay, I'm just gonna do it the old-fashioned way. Damage amplifiers and go. This guy seems like he's just sitting there. Oh, now he's firing. Now he's realizing he's being hit. But uh, the nuke should kill him soon anyways. There it is. Didn't even, didn't even hit in the end. We got to the victory before. Okay, folks. So, do we have more questions? Um, save us from the trolls when this game comes out. Friendly nuke fest. I sure, I sure will do. 146, by the way, here. We'll check out the individual scores soon. Light red out is nice. Good design, fast and deadly, but lower health. Yeah. Um, 
the nuke at the start, um, it, it always works. Hey, look at that, look at that. Eight kills, zero deaths, eight K to D ratio. With a dreadnought, that's not too shabby. 1,750 points. I think we did well. I think we did quite well here. Okay, more questions. Um, medium destroyer is a fine ship, decent maneuverability and damage output. All right. Dreadnought and destroyers. Okay. The destroyer at Gamescom are called the Marina class, the Marina subclass. First time you saw the nuclear module on the destroyer. Yeah, I think I'm. Um, I think. Um, yeah, in most streams they use that RAM module, which looked like a lot of fun. All right, we got the next guy. It's not as much of a, of a break this time. And we have a galaxy far, far away girl this time with us. Um, so I saw these guys before. They are really good. This should be a, this should be an amazing match. Hopefully, you have some uh, equal opponents on the other side. Um, weird. The destroyer of Gamestop should be called Triton class. Why is that? Is there like a specific thing to the names of the classes? Marina class is a different design. You guys are soaking this game up. It's insane. You know so much about this game. Wow. Oh damn it! I just switched off my screen. Uh, we're back. Back in action. That is right. Uh, Kyle just reminded me. After this stream, there's gonna be the Jaeger Devs watching, uh, fighting it out, duking it out against you guys. You guys up in front. So get here at five. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna we're gonna have an amazing match. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be off the hook. The Jaeger guys are so good. And well, if it's not balanced, and I think it will, because it's going to be the like the serious, most serious fans. Yep, uh, some of our guys are leaving already. We have still more, two more hours to go. We had Gamescom, almost two hours. But uh, some some folks are wrapping it up. It's been a blast, but we're still not done with the stream here. 45 more minutes, and then we're getting started here with the dev stream over on twitch.tv slash playdreadnought so don't check that out later on and I will remind you okay so hopefully we have some opponents ready soon another sip of water uh, this is gonna be tough for me um, I've been casting almost straight um, for a couple hours now but we'll, we'll manage, and after this, there's, there's the show match, so, wow. Yep, we'll do, we'll do. Okay, let's enable chat again. Oh, sorry if I missed your question. It's, of course, it's losing the mas messages in between. Wait, I can actually check it. Hopefully, you guys, you won't see this, but I think I can check it. Where are we? Um, okay, okay, didn't miss anything, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What is it with Copper Base today? We always get to see Copper Base. By the way, Jaeger, did you guys did you guys do that on purpose? If if this is gonna be an esport, if, if this turns out to be an esport later on, and uh, Copper Base is gonna be one of the regular maps, Twitch chat is gonna go nuts. You gotta change that name. Okay, uh, so which class do you guys want to see next? I, I, th I think I might actually just uh, change it up according to what everyone else is picking. Double, dis double Dreadnought, Destroyer, Technical. Uh, that looks like a good mix. I could also go for a Corvette again. Let's actually go for a Corvette again. I love playing Corvette over on Kappa Base. It's so much fun to just dive down these little valleys and. Like use the warp, uh, the blink warp the entire time. It's so much fun. Artillery. Okay. Uh, okay, Gamma Pyro. Um, let me play one round. Oh, actually, let. Oh, damn it! I couldn't change it anymore. Sorry. If I die with the Corvette, which is entirely possible, uh, I, I think it's one of my best classes, my favorite class uh, for sure. But I, I'm probably gonna die. So, oh, they're coming in. They're coming in already. Let's try to surprise him. Let's try to surprise him. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We need to get a little closer, a little closer, a little closer. 
Switch on over, switch on over, switch on over, switch on over. There we go, there we go. And now, link warp out of there. Um, actually, let's disable this. And get out of here. Oh, they have already locked onto my location. Did I get that kill? Nope, apparently you blinked away. Okay, let's get back to my guys. Um, hunt is nice, but you really, really want to support your guys there. Um, those corvettes are really pesky. You gotta take them out. You gotta take them out quick. Okay, there it is. Um, it's gotta be over here somewhere. It's gotta be over here somewhere. There it is. Oh, damn it. Uh, my torpedoes aren't ready yet. A little bit unfortunate. I jump through him. Oh, gotta reload. Okay, let's go for the torpedoes. Unless he blinks, we should be good. Unless he blinks, we should be good. Oh, right on top of him. Oh, he actually didn't blink, but the torpedoes didn't get him either. Oh, damn it. That is not good at all. Bolt guns, not really all that useful. Let's go for the hunt here. If he's not attacking them, that's good already. Oh, wow, what the heck happened? Way too many missiles. Okay, time to go over to the artillery cruiser. Nox class, light artillery cruiser. Um, uh, did I tell us anything about the eSport? Well, um, they told us that um, in the Q&A session yesterday, fan Q&A session, if I remember correctly, they're not forcing anything, but if people want it, they're they're definitely gonna support us. Uh, they're they're definitely gonna support us. And this, like, I've been in the esports cast for the past four years. This game lends itself to be an esport, for sure, for sure. Uh, what the heck am I doing? I'm I'm not a combat anymore. Oh jeez, oh jeez, what the heck am I doing? What the heck am I doing? Okay, let's get close to our technical cruiser. Is he here somewhere? Come on, I need you. I need you, man. Let's dive down. Uh, let's see, can we get another hit here? Oh, that's a loop right in the face. We're not that far behind, but I'm not doing a good job here. That's for, that's for sure. Rest in pieces. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Two artillery crews is probably not a good idea, but you guys wanted to see it, so let's do it. Uh, stationary cloak. Going to siege. Oh, I can't use the siege mode with the stationary cloak. That's bad. That's too bad. Let's go for the dreadnought over here. Energy just discharges so incredibly quickly. But I'm hiding in the back, so I'm all good so far. Okay, let's go over the guns again. Cloak. Oh, damn it. I can't hit him. My shots are being blocked over here. Okay. Ah, still being blocked. That's that's a little bit of an issue. Okay, we gotta reload. And oops, another sniper somewhere. And uh, whoa, that's not good. If the dreadnought is next to you, you're not, you're not gonna be sneaking. Let's ramp something with this artillery ship. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I mean, it's got. You, you, you see this, like on the sides there? Uh, it looks like a crocodile to me. Looks pretty rammable. But it's not. It's really not. Oh, that was a sweet hit with a nuke there. Go for stationary cloak. And over to damage. Oh, he sees me. He sees me. Oh, nope. I stay back here. Reload, do something else. Oh, uh, we have a Corvette somewhere close by. Uh, uh, we hit him, but it's still not enough. Not quite enough. There we go. There we go. I was a lot better with the sniper earlier. I don't know what I'm doing now. Oh, tactical, that's nice, that's nice. Easy pickup. Oh, it's 66 to 66. So, siege mode, you gotta use that every once in a while. It's cool, really good. 
Okay, let's go for stationary clock. I don't want to see this guy shoot at me. These are so hard to take out, especially if they're blinking. Oh, he's incredibly hard to hit. And he's probably gonna go for me here pretty soon. I'm not hitting a single time. I okay, okay. Hopefully, everyone else will keep us safe. Oh, jeez. There's, there's one next to me. There's one right next to me. Yeah. I hate Corvettes. Do you guys want to try to win this game? If so, I'll switch over to tactical. Oh, wait. Do we have a tactical already? We have a tactical already. Let me switch to Corvette then. Let's get in there, help them out. And we gotta be quick, they need help. No, what am I doing? Wrong, wrong button. Wrong button. Oh, they're gonna get that kill. It's way too many kills for them. Oh, come on. All systems go. I need that energy. I need that energy. It's coming from the top. Let's see what we can do here. Oh wow! That that was a pretty huge impact right there. I'm scared. I'm scared now. Oh no! They got me, but I got the kill. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Stay close to the ground. Stay close to the ground. And reload. Reload. Oh jeez. Oh, uh, I don't want to face him. Actually, I do. I do want to face him. Because we're going to have that torpedo available in just a sec here. Let's get in close. Switch over. Fire the torpedoes. Man the stations. Double kill. All right. And right through the fireball. That's what I'm talking about right there. And this is so close. The next kill is going to... No, not the next... Oh, actually, the next kill will decide this. Did we take it? Did we win? Come on, please tell me we won. Come on, come on, come on. Tell me. What the heck's happening? It's not saying anything. It's not saying anything. I can still fire, but it's not saying anything. Come on. Did we win? It looked like... No! So close! Oh, but that was an amazing match. I, to be honest, if I didn't drag our team down, I think we would have taken this. Yeah. Four kills, uh, three deaths, at least a positive KDD ratio. Our tactical didn't do bad either, 990 points. Alright, and our opponents, um, yeah, they were pretty much on top of things. It's, it's a standard strategy, two, two Dreadnoughts, two Corvettes, and the Tactical. Really good strategy. GG. GG, Uruk. Alright, any more questions that came in? Um, oh, lots of questions, alright. Apparently they changed the names of the ships. Um, yeah, I think they're probably gonna do that up until release and maybe even afterwards. Let's see what kind okay, of let's ram something. Yep, that happened. That really happened. Yeah, we did ram something with the artillery cruiser. One of the lightest ships in the game. Yeah, makes sense. Um, shooting faster but doing a little bit... Uh, oh, what's the advantage of this ship? Any specials? It shoots faster but low damage than the other snipers. Devastator, you know so much about this game. Are you... You are active on Reddit, I saw you. You wanna be a mod? You wanna be a mod on Reddit? We're looking for uh, Reddit mods. They're, they're, they're looking for Reddit mods. Uh, if so, do tell do tell us in chat. And uh, I guess our guy over there, Kyle, the community manager, he's gonna, he's gonna talk to you. Um, sniper ship, high damage from distance for fragile. Oh, for sure. Um, would it be something like a carrier? To, uh, to be honest, I've uh, seen... I've, uh, did I see them? They've not really talked about them all that much, but there is a module for the Dreadnought, I believe, that launches tiny ships. So, yeah, carrier confirmed. Um, okay, Dreadnoughts can use the hangar bay that will launch... Fire. Well, you already answered ships. You're taking away my job. Um, yeah. To take kills, the average damage of the last hit... Um, I am from casting it. I'd say it's the average damage. 
Because if you like, if you hit them once, you're not gonna get. You know what? We need to ask the air grass later on. Uh, but I think I think it's the average damage. Because if you if you hit them right before right before they die, you don't even get the assist. Like you need to do a little bit more damage. Okay. Reddit mods. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, folks. Hopefully, we're getting ready for the next. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're we're getting more people, and for some reason, my phone just uh, switched way from chat only mode. Okay. Yeah, and uh, for you guys up front at the stage, we have about half an hour left with the live stream. Afterwards, there's going to be another live stream for the guys over on Twitch. But then I'm going to shoutcast to you guys the Jaeger versus Community Show matches. Um, that's going to be in German again, so for all you non-English speakers uh, on, on stage, it's going to be in German. And we're also giving away more stuff. Well, we got those keyboards, more Logitech keyboards. Yeah. More Logitech keyboards. Uh, mice, I'm not sure. Uh, we might even have a headset. We're just gonna give it away. We're, we're gonna give it away all of it. All of it is gonna go. Okay, we're searching the match. Probably have more people in the back for us. And I want another close match like this. But which class do you guys want to see next? Um, we, we went for the heavies. We had the artillery cruiser this last game. You know what? If we're gonna play on Rings of Saturn, I'm gonna give the Artillery Cruiser another shot. Oh, sorry. Uh, the giveaway is offline. Um, are you actually up front, Miss Bastion? If you're up front, um, I'm gonna start the giveaway right after Twitch uh, the, the, the stream goes offline. We have a G7, uh, G7 on 10. Nice! Nice! I, you know, I like it. It seems like a really cool keyboard. Um, yeah, so it's an offline giveaway here at Gamescom only. But I'm pretty sure that these guys will do more online uh, Twitch giveaways as well. Tactical? Tactical? Um, you know what, Vespasian? Um, we, well, let's play tactical. Uh, if I die, let's play tactical. All right. So let's start out with the uh, art the artillery cruiser first, and then let's go over to tactical afterwards. All righty, right. What do we have here? The light artillery cruiser, and apparently, uh, oh, main man devastated knew that it was called Nix before. Yeah, uh, stuff you learn, stuff you learn on Twitch. Uh, let's talk a bit, a little bit about the weapon system. We have the particle turrets. That's the main weapon. Um, yeah, that's that's basically the sniper shot. And then you have the light flag turrets. If they do get close range, uh, it's actually not too shabby. If you switch your energy to the weapon system, it, it's a pretty good defensive measure. If you if you get some like medium ships in there against against the corvette, at least against the corvette we have here uh, for for Gamescom, it doesn't do anything. Nope, not at all. You don't want to get that uh, covet in your face. You're pretty much doomed. You need the help of your allies. Dreadnought is a, is, is a team-based game. You, you definitely need the support of your allies and you need to support your allies. Okay, we're going with pretty much standard strategy. Okay, you know, tell me to go down. I'm just following their commands, I guess. Um, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can get some surprise shots in. Oh, I'm gonna go into stationary. And uh, let's see if I can get the other sniper. Oh, no more shots. Too bad. I did get one or two shots in, at least. Oh, that's not good. Not a good point. And I already see the first. Oh, I see him. I see him right there. Let's hide. Um, few. Okay, more energy, more energy, we want to take him out. Let's take out the tactical, let's take him out, let's take him out, let's take him out. One more shot, two more shots. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, damn, so close. We're still gonna get that kill though. Yep, there it goes. Team did get that kill. That's the important part here. I don't really care about the points. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. We're on the internet. Of course I do. Okay, that's another support over here. And a nice new kid. Uh, if you play on Rings of Saturn, you gotta watch out. If you find that nuke in here in the middle, uh, in the middle of the space station, and you have uh, the roof on top, uh, it's gonna be a friendly kill. Yeah, it's it's gonna explode on that roof. Okay, um, I don't think I'm doing a really good job here. It's it's pretty bad. I want to hide behind these uh, the station. Oh damn it! I hate him. Let's hide. Let's hide. Where are the big ships at? Where are the big ships at? Oh, there's one. Oh no, that's actually... Oh, ah, come on. Come on, what can we do here? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. One more shot. Ah, we got an assist, nice. I still have a Corvette somewhere. Oops, and another... Another sniper that's shooting at us. Maybe we can surprise him from the side. No, I think he saw us. Nope, he's shooting at him. I should use that to my advantage. Can I get there? Nope, not really. Not really. Can I help? Oh jeez, oh jeez, he's still shooting. Where is he at? Oh, okay, come on, come on. Oh jeez, that one, one more shot. We should have gotten that kill. Yeah, we got the kill. And on a Corvette nonetheless. Yeah, another kill. And I'm the worst sniper ever. <laughs> Just staying out in the open. You don't want to do that. You want to use the cover to your advantage. Thank kids for modding. Yeah, you can sign up at theydreadnought.com as well. If there are any more questions, feel free to ask. Um, as a sniper, I don't have too much to do apparently. Uh, oh, what the heck happened? We we didn't die once yet. 86 to zero. That is insane right there. Okay, in the back. That ship is not doing anything. Oh, actually, it's flying away. Let's see. Probably playing against total loops right there. Okay, it's going to siege mode. That's not a good idea. Not against a destroyer like that. Switch over to weapons. Oh no, it's a dreadnought. It's coming for me. It's actually fired a nuke. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, well, there's a sniper right on top of me. And you gotta watch your. You gotta watch that. And that was the final shot. Not bad at all. That's that's the first game of zero I've seen the entire week. That that's the first right there. Guys, give yourself a pat on the back. They probably left the station empty on the other side. <laughs> Insanity. We wiped the floor with them. That's for sure. Okay, let's let's check out the individual statistics here. Oh, second place. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Too bad I couldn't show you guys the, uh, the tactical cruiser. We're gonna go into the tactical cruiser for the next match. Is that a critical hit? That is an ex excellent question, uh, Vespasian. And you're gonna have to ask that in half an hour for the death stream. I mean, you do more damage in siege mode, and if you have your um, energy on the weapon system, so I guess that counts as a critical hit, but there are no um, no hit areas in the game so far. They're thinking about it, I've, I've heard that they're thinking about it in the previous Q&A, and I think it would be an excellent idea, it's gonna make the game a whole lot harder though. But coming in from the back, oh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, that that's, that's gonna get, make the gameplay a whole lot deeper. More deeper than it already is. Uh, Maybe they'll have to see, I guess. I mean, they don't want to make it too uh, newbie unfriendly. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. They're still tweaking the game. They still want to. They want to bring it out in the best state possible. 
Alrighty, right. Yeah, the Tactical Cruiser is a healer. He's the support class in Dreadnought. And he has some pretty amazing abilities. Um, give me a sec. Just a sip of water. Yeah, it's a support class. Uh, primary job is to just heal your ships, stay close to, to your friends, stay close to What you want to do is use the, the warp drive to jump to your allies. You have basically limitless range don't quote me on that by the way uh, it's like it's insane range you can like be on the other side of the map as long as you see your allies you can warp to them pretty much instantly there's like a maybe a two second charge up it's it's not that long it's not that long um, and you're there you can heal them up you know what I do like if I see they're they're being attacked I jump to them activate my repair down straight away even the beam amplifier and then heal them up the beam amplifier is the primary, uh, the primary ability. Essentially, it just increases your damage or your healing. So um, the main weapon, so to say, for the technical cruiser is actually a healing beam. Uh, we'll, we'll check out what it's called later. Uh, it's like oh, medium beam charts. The medium beam charts, at least here for the uh, iron subclass tactical cruiser. Um, yeah, uh, and it. it actually automatically realizes if you're targeting an enemy it switches over to damage and if you're targeting a friend it switches over to healing but usually I just stay with healing I stick with healing there's one exception though if you have full energy and a corvette gets close or it actually doesn't have to be that close if you have um, if you have that energy switch over to weapons and, and you don't have anyone that can deal with that corvette at this point um, switch over to weapons Use the beam amplifier and then attack it with your with your beam turrets. It does massive damage, and the thing is, there's no reload, so you just stay close to that corvette. And even with the blink jump, it doesn't really matter. Your turrets turn so damn fast, you can always follow that corvette and take it out. So I think that's also the reason why you want to have that tactical cruiser in your composition if you're facing uh, lots and lots of corvettes. All right. Hopefully, we'll get some opponents soon. Um, hopefully, we'll get some opponents soon. I think this might actually be like the last or second to the last match. If you just tuned in, um, I'm gonna upload these matches to YouTube tomorrow, so you'll find the YouTube channel link below the stream. Uh, go check it out if you missed it. There's also uh, immediately after this, there's the past broadcast section where you can also watch it. And Twitch actually changed it up now. You have quality selection, so uh, it's gonna be pretty good, I hope. Okay. I I mean I can I might be able to ch no I uh, forgot I'm I'm hinged to this I'm locked locked and loaded. So hopefully we'll get some more people to play against us soon. I don't know what's up with them. We'll see. Maybe I should cut it up so we don't have the time in between. But if you do have any more questions, do go ahead and shoot at shoot them at me. And if you like the stream, please uh, leave a follow. Um, I plan to stream more more Dreadnought once it's uh, actually in a playable alpha or better. And yeah, more Heroes of the Storm. That's uh, one of my main games, and I'm doing a little bit of let's plays on the side. All right, so. What else? What else do we have? Oh, I think I think we're good. So for you guys up front, if there's still a crowd, I no way for me to check. Uh, we're doing giveaways just before the next show match starts. There's uh, still Logitech keyboards to give away. Uh, lots and lots of T-shirts to throw out in the crowd. Uh, that's that's the last thing we're gonna do. And then just a shoutcast, just a shoutcast of the Jaeger versus Community match. Okay, um, let me check uh, if they have someone on the other side and someone just missed click play. I'll be right back.
Okay, okay. So, they're getting more people, finally. Sorry about the hold up. Sorry about the hold up. We have more people coming soon. And I think, depending on when we actually get to start here, uh, this is going to be the last match from, for me for tonight. And, um, yeah, the last match I'm going to get to play, Dread, not possibly. Um, yeah, only available at Gamescom. TT. Um, yeah, but hopefully we'll get a really cool match and it's not going to be a stomp. Even though that last one was pretty cool, I, got, I gotta admit. Sometimes stomps are fun, especially if their games comes first. Game comes first. Yeah, managed to get that 100 to 0. Insanity. Okay. Um, yep, more people are coming in. So we should be good to go. In just a few. Yeah, we got the entire team here now. And things are starting to wind down behind me. I mean, you can have a tiny look over here. It's not as crowded anymore. The other booths are not quite as loud. Gamescom is coming to a close. But it's coming back next year. And if I remember correctly, Greybox and the guys from Jaeger uh, they're going to bring Dreadnought to you guys again at PAX Prime in two weeks? I think it's two weeks. Might be one week. I'm not sure. They'll, they'll post about it. Just follow them on the social channels. It's always playdreadnought.com. Or all of them you can find on there. The link is always playdreadnought. Okay. So we wanted to play the Tactical Cruiser. Hopefully someone else switches over so we don't have two Tactical Cruisers. Actually, we tried that once. It's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, three Dreadnoughts, two Tacticals. Uh, it's, it's pretty nuts, because you can't take them down. Like, the only way to take them down is just nukes. And that's it. Okay. Almost ready, 15 seconds. Oh, we wanted to go over into the weapons and abilities. So, I already told you primary weapon, so to say, is the medium beam turret, and that automatically switches over between damage and healing, depending on who you target. Then we have light machine guns as the secondary fire. Actually, I, have, I don't think I've ever tried that. I don't think I ever did, because usually you switch over to your secondary weapon when you need to reload. You don't need to reload with uh, the beam turrets. Okay, let me stay close to my allies, but we need to watch out. Uh, these guys might have listened to me before, and they might have realized that starting out with a nuke is really cool. I'm actually gonna switch over to shield straight away. Let's heal him. And what I like about Kappa Base, you can hide back here and still heal everyone. Oh, let's heal him, heal him, heal him, heal him, heal him. Nice, he actually saved that. Really cool job. Really good job. Dude, does he need any help? Nope. We got dedicated heals this time. Two tacticals. I don't know about our sniper player, but so far he's doing fine apparently. So yeah, you want to use the beam amplifiers whenever you can. Um, to uh, give additional, additional uh, healing. Okay, and we're just healing that Dreadnought as well. This is going to be tough for our opponents. Two tactical cruisers. If they don't focus us, they're going to have a bad time. I'm just staying back here. Oh, they actually got their first kill. Probably the sniper. Oh, I actually need to watch out. I see two snipers. I'm just staying back here, to be honest. I'm going to use the beam amplifier. Do you... I'm not sure, does that... Oh, it actually helps. Ah, okay, good to know, good to know. So you want to switch over to... Uh, you want to switch over your energy to the weapon system if you want to repair really fast. Okay, let's target warp to him. And go down, because I don't want to be out in the open. Oh, that was not too bad, not too good. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, 
Is the target drop available? No. Okay. I can heal from back here. Oh jeez, no. That was close. Let's get out of here. He's doing a really good job healing me. Oh, we need to heal him a little bit faster. Ah, oh, damn it. Too, too slow. Too slow. So they're doing a really good job with these snipers here. We need to get sniper hunters out there. Someone needs to switch over to a Corvette. Keeping him alive quite well. Hopefully someone switched over to a Corvette. Maybe the sniper even. Ah, uh, let's go sniper hunting. One, one thing uh, that's a little bit tricky with the tactical cruiser is you always need to watch at uh, the person you're uh, you're trying to help out, right? So you can't really watch his surroundings. You always gotta watch him and the minimap. So that's that's a little bit tricky right there. Then I don't know exactly know when to switch over to um, an aggressive stance where I actually try to help out with not just healing. Actually, let's jump to him, give him all the healing we have. Uh, let's heal him back up, heal him back up, heal him back up. And that's gonna be enough heal. So much heal. So much heal coming out. And then we can jump back. Oh, this is gonna be another really, really strong match for us. We might actually get another one here. We're healing him from the back. Switch over to weapons so we heal him a lot faster. Oh, that's straining energy so quickly. Let's jump to him. More healing, more healing. Uh, what I just did is not a good idea, by the way. Switch over to the repair drones. Tickets are sold out. Oh, too bad. Okay, we did heal him, and that's it. Final kill. New rank prodigy. I've never seen that one. Not a bad match either. Not bad at all. So 12 more minutes. I don't think we can get enough people in the back fast enough. So this might be the last one. Um, yeah. That's, I want to check out the individual statistics though. Do want to check those out. Okay. Oh, right in the middle there. And that's just with healing. 1,390 just with healing. Uh, Case, the other guy that played the tactical, 1,200. That's actually a really good store. No kills, no deaths, no assists, just healing. Yeah, so tactical cruises, are, they're pretty sweet. You got enough to do. Um, lots of fun to play. So yeah, that, that was Dreadnought, uh, for me at least, um, on Twitch for Gamescom. But uh, you could, you better stick around, uh, cause over on Play Dreadnought on the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Play Dreadnought, we're gonna have that death stream in just 11 minutes. So that's twitch.tv slash Play Dreadnought, and we're gonna have the guys from Jaeger play versus members of the community, and hopefully it's gonna be some amazing matches. They're also gonna answer questions, and they're a lot more knowledgeable about the game than I am. So. Go check it out. If you like the cast here, please do leave a follow. And you can also follow me on YouTube or Facebook and Twitter. All of the links are below in the channel description. Yeah, hopefully you had a great time. Stay classy, Captains.